Mr. President, you asked to see me. I know you're busy. What do you need, sir? Sir, I want to give you a word of warning. Sir, I don't know what you heard, but whatever it is, Jefferson started it. Thomas Jefferson resigned this morning. You're kidding. I need a favor. Whatever you say, sir, Jefferson will pay for this behavior. Shh. Talk less. I'll use the press. I'll write under a pseudonym. You'll see what I can do to him. I need you to draft an address. Yes, he resigned. You can finally speak your mind. No. He's stepping down so he can run for president. Ha! Good luck defeating you, sir. I'm stepping down. I'm not running for president. I'm sorry, what? One last time. Relax, have a drink with me. One last time. Let's take a break tonight. And then we'll teach him how to say goodbye. To say goodbye. You and I. To talk about neutrality, sure. with Britain and France on the verge of war, is this the best I time? I want to warn against partisan fighting. What? Pick up a pen, start writing. I want to talk about what I have learned, the hard-won wisdom I have earned. As far as the people are concerned, you have to serve. You could continue to serve. No. One last time, the people will hear from me. One last time. We're gonna teach them how to say goodbye You and I Mr. President, they will say you're weak No, they will see we're strong Your position is so unique So I'll use it to move them along Why do you have to say goodbye? If I say goodbye, the nation learns to move on it outlives me when I'm gone Like the scripture says Everyone shall sit under their own vine and fig tree And no one shall make them afraid They'll be safe in the nation we've made I want to sit under my own vine and fig tree A moment alone in the shade At home in this nation we one last time, one last time. Though in reviewing the incidents of my administration, I am unconscious of intentional error, I am nevertheless too sensible of my defects not to think it probable that I may have committed many errors. I shall also carry with me the hope that my country will view them with indulgence, and that after 45 years of my life dedicated to its service, with an upright zeal, the faults of incompetent abilities will be consigned to oblivion, as I myself will soon be to the mansions of rest. I anticipate with pleasing expectation that retreat in which I promise myself to realize the sweet enjoyment of partaking midst of my fellow citizens, the benign influence of a good laws of a free government, the ever favorite object of my heart, and the happy reward as I trust of our mutual care, labors and dangers, one last time. Say goodbye, George Washington's going home.